What's going on out there in the social media world? I'm Skylar over here at Culture Shock Clothing and Records. Uh, we're getting ready to do a huge video. This is one of the biggest days of the year for us. This is going to be the Record Store Day Rundown. Record Store Day is going to be happening this Saturday, April 23rd. We're opening 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And we have a whole smorgasbord of amazing records and limited releases that we're going to chat about and show off what we've got and how many we've got of each of the releases. Uh, and then I'm also talking about some of the freebies and some of the other events going on here at Culture Shock. Uh, of course, should I just tell kind of about what Record Store Day is right now? Yeah. Kind of. So a lot of you may or may not know, this is actually the 15th year of Record Store Day happening. Uh, so if you don't know what it is, there's all kinds of special releases that this group called Record Store Day has worked with, different record labels and bands, to put out limited special releases of, release, of records that you can only get at independent record store like Culture Shock. Uh, and it's a drop that happens. You can't even buy these online or on the artist's website. And it's first come, first serve. So it's kind of like kind of a mad dash, but it's a nice, fun, organized mad dash, let's say, uh, to try to get the records you're after. Because many of them are very limited to only, you know, anywhere between like 500 to 5,000 copies. Uh, and all the stores were part of it. It's split up amongst them, depending on what they ordered. So it's first come, first serve. I know some of you will be here much earlier than 8 a.m. just chomping at the bit for us to get the doors open and get rolling. Uh, we're going to have some live music from our friend uh, Andrew Robinson. We'll be playing some music outside while you wait in the morning. Uh, we're going to have some donuts, some fun. You can make some friends with other music lovers. Uh, and then come in, and we'll have our staff here to help line up. Uh, and then you can run through the line here and pick up to five releases, only one of each title. Uh, and then jump through the line if you want to go again, or check out all the other amazing used and new records, CDs, DVDs, T-shirts, and other items in our store that we have besides just records. Uh, should I talk about some freebies right now first, maybe? Mm -hmm. So with the record store day releases here that we're about to show off, with each release you get, you can pick up to, you know, one free item per, per release that you get. So if you get like three or four releases, you can get the record store day poster from Culture Shock. We also have to show off the beautiful record, the official record store day poster as well. Uh, the good news is good news. This is George Harrison's Dark Horse record label. So some Beatles fans will be after that. I know the Taylor Swift fans are going to be after her ambassador pin. So we have a whole bunch of these too. If you pick up the Taylor Swift release that's coming out or any other Record Store Day release, you can get the Taylor Swift pin. There's some CDs and stuff too, compilations, uh, the NCT 127. Stickers. Our Record Store Day poster, our personal Culture Shock one this year is designed by Tara Romano. Oh yeah, and our friend Tara Romano designed the Culture Shock Record Store Day poster. Got a super groovy vibe to that. So working with a lot of local artists and stuff too that we can to have some of the items that we have in the store. And of course, even our posters. This tote bag is cool. Uh, so the first, we've got, I think, 50 record story posters and 25 culture shock wants, 25 tote bags. So definitely get out early if you want to get some of those freebies because some of them will be gone right away. Uh, of course, culture shock clothing and records. If you haven't been here, we're at 2239 Charles Street in Rockford, Illinois usually 11 to 6 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday, but 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. for this Saturday, April 23rd. Uh, can we roll into the rundown, you think? I'm going to just go kind of brief. There's almost 200 releases, I believe, so it is going to be a quick kind of show off what it is and how many we got, because I know a lot of you are really looking to pick and choose what's important on your list. Uh, I'm going to start right up front, To The way we do it is the 7-inch and 10-inch records are first, no matter what they are. And then the LPs are organized A through Z all the way down this line. And then at the very end, you will find soundtracks and compilations. Starting right up here with the 7-inches, though, I'm going to go quick. This is the 7-inch box set of the Black Pumas album. Special limited release of that. Collector's edition, 5,000 copies. Uh, you can also check, that's right, for more of the information, we'll put the link, especially on our YouTube to cultureshockshop.com because there might be more information than I can briefly tell you and you can find out more info there or at recordstoreday.com. Uh, only one of the Black Pumas, the Blondie Sunday Girl EP, two of those. This is a double seven inch package of some of her earlier live recordings and uh, from its original analog tape. That's the other cool thing about Record Store Day. A lot of these are special packaging, color vinyl, have posters. A lot of them are analog from the original tapes. Uh, we've got the Blue Stingrays, uh, includes a guitar pick, Steve, Earl, and the Dukes. we got two of this 7-inch up against the wall, Redneck Mother, and one. So some of these are very limited. Some we only got one or two of, some we got two to 25 copies of. Noel Gallagher and the High Flying Birds, we got one of those. This is a very interesting release. The Foo Fighters, Making a Fire, the Mark Ronson reversion, and Chasing Birds with the Preservation Hall Jazz Band. 
We have 17 of those. I know the Foo Fighters seem to have a lot of releases on Record Store Days. And Vince Giraldi Trio, baseball theme. This one is two of them, and it was previously, it's got an alternate take that was never released before, and it is on white vinyl. Duran Jane, or I'm sorry, Duran Jones and the Indicators from Coal Mine, really good soul group. One of those. Pull some of these out here. Slang. And it's got some remixes on it with Vic Ch featuring Vic Chestnut. One of those. A lot of people asking about the Taylor Swift, the Lakes album version and original version. There are nine of those. And see, it doesn't say on here, but these are on silver vinyl. So a lot of these, even if the hype sticker doesn't tell you, a lot of them are colored vinyl. Uh, Twisted. This is cool. They hand numbered it. This is number 454 of 1000. And Wise Blood, 7 inch. That is. Uh, a certain kind back with everybody's talking. That's all the seven inch records. We're going to move right into the 10 inch David Bowie, <laughs> Bowie David Bowie toy EP. Uh, we got five of those. Cypress Hill, the 420 remixes. Today is 420, so appropriate that Cypress Hill is putting out the remixes. That is three of those. Uh, Mikey Dread, this looks like it's on some Rasta color vinyl, probably. These are numbered on the back, too. Gold stamp number, 10 inch. Uh, the gun, we got two of those. The Lumineers Bright Side Bonus Tracks, only got one of those, 10 inch. Uh, Shocking Blue on uh, pink colored vinyl, 3,000 copies. Uh, we only got one of them. So. AR Kane, one of those. Pepper Adams, a lot of jazz releases this year too. Live at, live at Room at the Top, Pepper Adams with the Tommy Banks Trio, uh, original analog from the original tapes numbered on the back too. We got two of those. Oh, I'm stoked about this one. The Alice in Chains, uh, We Die Young EP on a 12 inch record. I've never seen that on vinyl before. Uh, this was their first studio EP. We have 25 of the Alice in Chains. Some of them we got a good amount of and maybe they won't sell out in one day, maybe they will. Uh, the Almond Brothers, this is Cream of the Crop. It's a triple LP on gold, silver and bronze colored vinyl. Uh, we have six of those. America, there's actually two releases from America. This is uh, Friday Music, like a high-quality reissue of their Greatest Hits album. We got three of those. And this is America, Alternates and Rarities. We got two of those, and that is on Soap Sud Green Vinyl. Not just plain green vinyl, Soap Sud Green. Two releases, actually. We only got two of each of these, both on color vinyl, and you will know us by The Trail of the Dead. Two of each of those. Getting into the A's still. Asia, picture disc. Rick Astley, only one of those. I believe that's on color vinyl. Roy Ayers, another cool jazz, kind of funky jazz piece. One of those. That's all the A's. I'm gonna go right into the Bad Company Live 1979. This was on orange vinyl. Looks like it's a double LP. We have three of those. A lot of live stuff too, here's some more. I think live stuff too from Chet Baker. These were the Radio France recordings from 83 to 84. Kind of towards the end of his life, some of his last jazz stuff he recorded there. That is, is that a triple LP? That must be, yeah. So there's a lot of music on there that had never been released from Chet Baker. Bardo Pond, we got two of those by the way. One Bardo Pond. That is Bufo Alvarius. I'm trying to say that right. And that is on double white vinyl. Oh, hard on the name. Some of these I don't say out loud a lot. Sarah Bareilles, I'm going to say. Uh, this is her breakthrough album, Little Voice, 15th Anniversary Edition. Includes a special handwritten note from Sarah herself, I guess. Uh, I don't know. It might be on color vinyl. It's not uh, promoted as being so. We got a few of those, though. So it looks like we got six of those. Some very obscure stuff, too. This is, uh, I'm going to be hard to say the name here. Mm, gosh, Soren. Soren Baronian. I think it's like kind of some Middle Eastern or Egyptian jazz. Kind of some very obscure stuff from him. I think 70s is when a lot of it was released. So that is a triple LP set. The Belle Bib DeVoe Poison. This is a limited one on cherry red vinyl. Reissue of that. A lot of these are reissues, but color vinyl. There was some new stuff too in new releases. This is the Charlie Benanti and Friends uh, Moving Pictures. Uh, of course, uh, Charlie Benanti will be recognizable to those of you who are fans of Anthrax. A lot of members of Anthrax working together on that. Got Brian Bennett, 
Voyage. It's some kind of rare funk piece. We got two of those. This is a good piece, a very sad piece too, kind of. Uh, this is Where Are You, Jay Bennett? Uh, the story of a musical genius who left us too much, left us much too soon. Uh, Jay Bennett, a lot of people will know him from Wilco. This is a double LP and it comes with a DVD about his story. Uh, we have 15 of those. And let's see, after Bennett, then Black Label Society. Uh, this is alcohol fueled and live. And it is a 2 LP, first time on vinyl, I believe, yeah. So a lot of these have never been released on vinyl before. And this is a 2 LP on color vinyl. Black Label Society, we got seven of those. Oops, and then back here too, only one, the James Blake covers album. When the party's over, atmosphere. So he's doing some different cover songs on there. Moving on to the Bs, there is Bleeding Hearts, Riches to Rags. This is Bob Stinson's group, uh, of course, of the replacements. We also have a replacements release to show off. There's three of those. Blur, I love this one. Yeah? What's back behind you? What is it? Look at Bean. What is she doing? You just have to look. Why? Because what? Where? Oh, she's way back there? Huh? Bean, why are you hiding? She's just sitting out in the middle of the floor. What a silly bean. Our shop dog's just chilling back here. She's just waiting for me to get down to the video so she can cuddle, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so this is a blur compilation. What a silly girl. Color, double color vinyl, busting and droning. First time ever on vinyl with remixes and some tracks that have never been released before. Uh, looks like blue and green vinyl, but I love the Obi strip that comes with it too. That had been released in Japan, I think, on CD. We got six of those. Uh, Bomba Stereo live in Dublin on tricolor splatter vinyl, one of those. Bowie has two releases this year, actually. So this is the Brilliant Adventure EP. So it's just an EP. And it looks like we have, there's a few things actually still on the way in we're putting together. We have five of those. Another cool jazz piece, this is the Dave Brubeck Trio, live from Vienna, 1967. And we have four of those. Buena Vista Social Club. Produced by Ry Cooter, previously unheard 1996 recordings. We have two of those. Uh, moving right into the C's, Maria Callas, Pure. One of those. This is another one, believe it or not, is very rare because the year it came out, 1998, this is Mariah Carey's number ones. So this is all of her big number ones and hit songs. I noticed it's also res on high res audio, 24 bit. So it's like a high audiophile quality. Originals though are crazy, hard to find or expensive because in the 90s and 2000s, vinyl was very at a low point. So we have eight of those. Belinda Carlisle, the Heaven or Earth Tour. We have only one of those. Uh, I believe it's on, yeah, blue vinyl. Uh, the Catatonics Hunted Down on black splatter vinyl, black and green. One of those. Another live one. Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds Live. Uh, transparent red vinyl. We only have two of those. Sibo Orca. We got two of those on blue marble vinyl, double LP. The Chicago Live at Carnegie Hall. Limited edition of 6,000 with a poster. Mm, I think there's three records in there. Yeah, that's a triple LP with posters. Two of the Chicago. Continuing into the seas, we got Chief Keef here. Red, black, and white marble vinyl. Four of those. Ooh, let's show this bad boy off. Cowie, yeah, it's still hard for me to say. Cowie, the Childish Gambino piece. First time ever on vinyl. Look at this. They did the matching color vinyl to match the set. First time on vinyl, we have 25 of those. I think there's gonna be a lot of demand for that though. Childish Gambino always does well. And they're all on surprise color variants. So they may not all look like that. There's gonna be different variants of that color. Jimmy Cliff, Follow My Mind. I got one of those here. Whoops, whoops. Okay, we'll get it out of here. Cold War Kids, um, hard to read. No, New Age, New Age Normie, thanks. New Age Normie, one of those. Uh, Com Venus, uh, Black Smoke, Red and Black Smoke Vinyl, two of those. Here's an old school piece too, The Coolio, Feature Gangster's Paradise. It Takes a Thief, that's a double LP. Is that the first? No, it's been on vinyl, I think. Also very hard to find on vinyl, though. Luckily, we're getting a limited reissue of it. We have eight of those. Another one, very hard to find on vinyl. Possibly the first time on vinyl. Uh, Alice Cooper, Brutal Planet. 
Came out in 2000. I'll bet you that's pretty hard to find on vinyl if it did come out. So we have one, two, four, six, eight of those also. All right, Larry Coriel, Fairyland, kind of a cool jazz fusion piece. Um, pink vinyl, we have one of those. John Craig, Abbey Road Lonely. So this is kind of a cool concept piece. He's obviously making his take on the Abbey Road thing. So he's doing a fun version of covers of Abbey Road from the Beatles mixed with comedy and stuff like that, comedians. So kind of interesting concept. One of my picks. If you didn't watch my Vinyl Happy Hour from last week yet, check out the Culture Shock Vinyl Happy Hour. Uh, because last week I kind of did a, my top five picks of Record Store Day. This is one of them. This is the Cranberries Remembering Dolores. And it's not necessarily a greatest hits of the Cranberries, but it's a two LP compilation of songs that are in memory to her and remind of her some of her best songs um, and things that uh, band members and other family members picked that they associated with her. So a really interesting compilation of the Cranberries. We have 11 of those. The Cure have been doing some picture discs uh, over the last couple of record store days. And this year is one of the most asked for Cure records. Pornography, 40th anniversary. Oh my God, I can't believe that's as old as I am. But anyway, the Cure Pornography picture disc. This is probably the fourth or fifth picture disc that they put out over the years now. Uh, looks like we have 12 of those. Maybe 14, I can't remember. Because there's some stuff still in our overstock box. Z Zarmageddon from Zarface. Really cool alternative hip hop artist, kind of comic book themed. What's really cool is this comes with a pack of trading cards too with it. Very cool special release. Uh, we have six of those. Moving in right into the D's. A very cool rare folk piece from Karen Dalton. Shuck and Sugar, previously unreleased performance. Uh, really cool 60s and 70s folk artist that more people should know about. Uh, cool release and six of those. And then the Dave Davies Kinked, I love how this one I noticed, has a sticker on it that says RSD Black Friday. This was originally going to come out last year on Black Friday. It obviously didn't make it. It's on this year's Record Store Day. There's been a lot of demand for vinyl and a lot of things getting delayed. So some stuff, speaking of which, if you see the Record Store Day list, I think like Nicki Minaj, Pearl Jam, some things like that are not getting released this week. They're actually getting pushed to June 18th. There's a couple dozen releases that didn't make it in time for this date, so... Keep that in mind if there's something you don't see in the video or shoot us a message, we'll let you know. The Damned, Strawberries, 40th anniversary also. Oh, I didn't realize this. It comes with a strawberry scented inner sleeve. That's fun. Uh, see, there's so many cool releases, special packaging. Only two of those though. Def Leppard, High and Dry, essential Def Leppard album. Cool album, picture disc with the jacket also. We have seven of those. Sandy Denny, Gold Dust. Uh, this is live at the Royalty, and she is doing, uh, it's like her lost live album or final concert. Uh, she's also doing some music from her solo career and Fathering Gay and Fairport Convention. A lot of you, if you know, like old English folk and prog and stuff would know Sandy Denny. A very cool artist. We have four of those. Detective, I know they played around the Midwest a lot. A special reissue of that album. 2,000 copies on silver vinyl, only one of those. Devo, oh yes, it's a picture disc. Devo's classic 82 album. 5,500 copies were made. There's only two of them here at Culture Shock, so get in early for that. Uh, Dillinger Escape Plan, one of their last albums, Disassociation on Gold Ripple vinyl. We have six, seven, seven of those. Uh, Udo Dirk Schneider, My Way, a vocalist from Accept. That is one of those. This is a very cool piece. This is the Doors LA Woman Session. So this is a four record set, kind of showing the development and some of the original tapes and stuff that were made when the Doors recorded LA Woman. Of course, they only made a few albums. LA Woman's one of the favorite albums from the Doors. We have, what do we have? Five here and four more. So we have nine of those available. This is a special piece you won't see on any record store day list. Uh, this is our friend Ryan who has slightly fuzzed records here in Rockford. It's a Rockford record label. He is releasing with, uh, his, uh, with a band that he's friends with called Earl of Hell, a Scottish band. They're kind of scuzzy rock, heavy rock, stoner rock. Five of those. So this is a very limited run. Uh, we're, we're putting it in. He's letting us release it as a record store day release. So check out that band. Of course, they may not make it to the stage much, but if they ever do, I would want to go see them live. It seems like a freaking cool band. So Earl of Hell, Echo and the Bunnymen, B-Sides and Live, 2001 to 05. 
double LP. Whoops, uh, three of those. Uh, Electronic, the 1989 remixes, 1992. One of those. Rocky Erickson, Rocky Erickson. How do you say it? Rocky or Rocky? Let me know. Anyway. Uh, Rocky Erickson and the Explosives Halloween Live 07. A lot of people will know him. He's the vocalist and guitarist and writer from the 13th Floor Elevators. Really cool looking package there. Double LP. Four of those. Bill Evans, amazing jazz artist, jazz pianist who played with a lot of people over the years. This is some live stuff that he did. We've got the 73 concert and we've got, oh, Inner Spirit. They did 6,500 copies hand numbered so each one has its own number on the back this is the 1979 concert also yeah hand numbered pieces uh resonance records they've been getting into the vaults and getting some unreleased jazz stuff put out from the original tapes mastered by bonnie grunman i won't get i won't bore you with the details of all the amazing jazz that's here if you know what it is you'll pick that up we got three of each of the bill evans pieces it's got to be 90s too an everlast piece i think it's 2000 no it's 98 first time i've ever seen this on vinyl double lp whitey ford sings the blues we have 10 of those whoops i think we have a couple more we might have 12 uh everly brothers hey doll babe hey doll baby uh everly brothers we got one of those everything but the girl one of those two a 12 inch single and that's the ease Robert Lester Folsom busting out some obscure stuff here. This was a private pressing, kind of a rare psychedelic piece. Only sold a few hundred copies, if that. Hard to find originals. Even the reissues that have come out are hard to find. So they're doing 2,000 copies on sea glass color vinyl. We got two of those. An amazing kind of crazy psychedelic uh, garage rock band, Frankie and the Witch Fingers. The name gives it away, you know what you're listening to already. This is on Busted Guts, Green, Pink, and Bone Splatter Vinyl. We have four of those. Judy in Disguise with Glasses from John Fred and his Playboy Band. One of those. Uh, Edgar Froze, also kind of hard to say the name, uh, founder of Tangerine Dream, so a lot of electronic experiment, and experimental, ambient, and kraut rock music. This is on Green Vinyl, Collector's Edition, a one-time pressing. Uh, oh, sorry. Epsilon in Malaysian Pale. Four of those. Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Altered Reels. One of those. Had a lot of people looking for this future piece, DS2. This is the third album from F Future. It's a double LP on teal colored vinyl. Hopefully you can see that without all the glare. We have quite a few of those. It looks like we have uh, 14. So moving on to G's right now. Do you want to answer a few questions? Yeah, we got questions. Let's go. What do we got? I'll do my best. Okay. You let me know. Uh-huh. So um, if you got questions or comments, let me know. Obviously, on our Instagram, I, our Facebook, or YouTube, we want to check those out and talk with you guys. Are the tote bags available for purchase or just a record store day exclusive? Record store day exclusive. There's only 25. So the first 25 people who buy any record store day release can get that for free. Leftover is online Sunday morning. Correct. That's right. Thank you for mentioning that. We cannot sell the records online. They're in store only for the first 24 hours. At 8 a.m., which we're in central time, we will have anything still available on our website for purchase in store pickup or shipping at cultureshockshop.com. So this Sunday, April 24th, 8 a.m., cultureshockshop.com. The link will be in our YouTube video also. Is it first come, first serve if you're one of the first people in line, or will you guys approach it in a different method? Might it well will be, that yeah. End. So we'll kind of go through it, yeah. Like when you come in and get the line, we're only going to let like a dozen people in at a time and keep it nice and organized so you can get what you want. You can get up to five releases, only one of each title, though. And then you can get back in line. And then you can get back in line if you want to get more or more than five pieces, no problem at all, yeah. It moves very smooth, very quick, and we will definitely have it keep it organized and alphabetized so it's really easy to find what you need. That answer that? Where there, will there still be new releases tomorrow night? There are, yeah. So I'm actually going to do another video tomorrow for our regular vinyl happy hour featuring some of the regular Friday new releases because new vinyl usually gets released on Fridays. So there is stuff that's nothing to do with Record Store Day still coming out on Friday. I mean, there's Slipknot and just, gosh, Wet Leg and just a whole bunch of other stuff. So it's been a lot to organize and to get all this ready and for one weekend, so... We'll still be doing Friday new releases, though. Okay, now we'll go through the rest of the alphabet. Yeah, so I'm starting in G's now. We already got A through F done. We're going to do G through Z, and there's no Z's, but uh, soundtracks and compilations. And this video will be up on your our YouTube Yes, yeah, so if you so miss part of the live, anything, 
Yeah, for sure. Just go to the Culture Shock Clothing and Records YouTube page, uh, and we're going to call this the Record Store Day Rundown 2022 at Culture Shock. YouTube.com backslash Culture Shock Rockford. YouTube.com backslash Culture Shock Rockford. Uh, and the G's, though, we've got Live in San Diego, 1974. Rory Gallagher, famous, famous blues rock guitarist. Amazing guy. There's three of those. Some jazz stuff, sketches of MD live at the Iridium, featuring Pharaoh Sanders. Nice. Great guy. Kenny Garrett, that is a also limited numbered edition. Looks like they did a thousand copies. That's numbered. We have two of those. Rockabye Baby series. Uh, this year it's the Marvin Gaye. Only got one of those. So Rockabye rendition of Marvin Gaye songs. One of these, Tucson and Return to Tucson from Giant Sand. We got one of those. Uh, Dana. Gillespie, Gillespie, yeah, yeah. No. Foolish Seasons. We have two of those. And this is a lost album of 1960s pop or on original analog tapes. Uh, a lot of people know her. She did a split, actually, with early David Bowie stuff, too. Girl School. Sorry, Girl House. First several vinyl release uh, with a demo. Oh, and it's got an orange flexi disc. Cool. So it's a record, and there's a flexi disc inside there with it too, which is kind of like really thin plastic. One of those goes zero live at Brixton. This is a two LP set. We have only six of those. Golden Smog. This is like a super group, I believe. Yeah, members of Soul Asylum, the Jayhawks, and Replacements. One of those. Gorgon City Olympian Remix is one of those. Gong. They were kind of a kind of a far out kind of psychedelic crowd rock band gong in the 70s on double color vinyl first time on vinyl we have three of those Let's try to keep this together grateful dad what is this live at wembley in 72 uh the complete first time on vinyl of the complete show they did 10,000. this is a five record box set uh we have four of the grateful dad box sets here available Grouch, limited to 2,000 copies. Let's show you the world. We have one of those. Some more kind of British, good, psychedelic blues rock. Uh, the Groundhogs, Hogwash. We have two of those. And the Gun Club, live in 83. One of those. Yes, coming through. I'm on to H's now. All right. Kirk Hammett. Famously known. First solo LP on blue color vinyl. We have three of those. A lot of people will know him from from other bands he's been in, and of course Metallica. <laughs> John Blanks, anyway. Handsome Boy Modeling School. Uh, another one, very hard to find on vinyl, came out early 2000s, late 90s, 1999. Uh, obviously you're gonna recognize the, the Dan the Automator from the Gorillas, but this is a cool kind of alternative hip hop piece. Super glad to see that getting reissued. We have two, four, six, eight, ten of those. Betty Harris, The Lost Queen of New Orleans Soul. One of those, Richie Hell, Gumbo Limbo remixes, one of those. We got a lot to get to, so I'm just gonna fly through some of these. This is a very interesting piece. It's hard to not just talk about these amazing records though. High Pulp, doing some covers of Frank Ocean. Wow, I think he's a Seattle artist, so. Interested in that, Jacka, Tear Gas, one of those. There's such a cool mixture of hip hop, jazz, classic soul and stuff like that. Here's the Jackson 5. Uh, this must be on blue vinyl. So we got three of those some stories behind these records let me tell you it's jazz sabbath volume two jazz artist who claims that black sabbath stole his music when he was in a coma and took his jazz songs and turned them into you know generic rock metal songs as he claims it's all a fake story but it's a hilarious story fun to check out we got six of those jesus jones unreleased rare remixes and songs only one of those joan jett and the blackhearts doing some acoustic stuff um and first ever acoustic recordings we have six of those the complete tom bell sessions from elton john and it is on soulful lavender vinyl so i'm guessing is this soulful lavender back here must be that color we got six of those uh jim jones hustlers p-o-m-e product of my environment two of those this judas priest Hero Hero is on red and blue vinyl, and you can't see on camera probably, but this is an embossed cover, kind of like those old like kids' books where it's all kind of raised lettering and stuff. We have eight of those. 
Judy Betts, never before on vinyl, 91 record, 1991 original, one of those. Writing to the K's. Speaking of the K's, we've got Sarah K's here. Uh, another great kind of up and coming and hard to find uh, releases from some of these artists. Luckily, Record Story is putting those out. We got four of those. Kitty, Spit on Red Vinyl, five of those. Another one of my picks in my video. The Knack, Live at the House of Blues in 01, double LP, only one. Pete Krebs and Gossamer Wings, I Know It by Heart. 20th anniversary, first time ever on vinyl. Never been on vinyl. We're getting it on record store day. Two of them. Another one. First time on vinyl, an O2 classic. Waking the Dead from LA Guns. We got two of those. Some more jazz here. The Devon Lamar, Devon Lamar organ trio. And uh, let's see here. Comes with the download. Coal Mine Records put that one out. We got three of those. That's a double LP. Oh, <laughs> All right, slamming these edits together. Here we go. Pete Krebs and the Gossamer Wings. We got two of those. We were right on the LA Guns. First time on vinyl for Waking the Dead. Two of those. Devin, Dev, Devon Lamar organ trio. Uh, three of those. Double LP. Coal Mine Records. Oh, we got to do this one. We got to do Limpra. 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 Limpra Trees. Two of those. That's a 12 inch. Very cool art. The Lord. This is. Greg Anderson of Sun, only one of those. Mary Lou Ford, one of those as well. She'd Be a Diamond. Darlene Love, The Many Sides of Love, one of those. Nick Lowe, Wireless World, on uh, splatter color vinyl, two of those. Last Al, La Luz, La Luz, two, one of those. Madonna, Who's That Girl on Red Vinyl, Super Club Remix, only three of those. Johnny Marr. Of the Smiths. This is Spirit, Power, and Soul, Vince Clark remix. Two of those. Masigo, one of those. Max Momental, let me cover this up. Effing, let me cover that up. Okay, four of those on pink vinyl. Uh, Christian McBride, Conversations with Christian, cool jazz piece. Two of those. Melanie C, Northern Star, three of those. Some uh, Spice Girl in the action there. Mingus. This is a Charles Mingus Lost album, live from Ronnie Scott's. This is another a numbered piece, two hand numbered, limited edition, and triple LP. Great, cool jazz piece. Three of those. Moving on to Conan Moccasin, Conan Moccasin, ADE. One of those. Mother Mother. Oh, this is cool. Oh, my heart. And it's actually die cut. You can actually see the record inside, which is technically kind of like a picture disc. It's written out on the vinyl. Very cool packaging on that piece. There's six of those. Starcrossed, this is the newest release from Casey Musgraves. Uh, there is picture disc version of that now, just for Record Store Day. We have eight of those. Joni Mitchell, her most renowned album, Blue. These are the highlights from that. Demos and outtakes, we have six of those. Motorhead, The Lost Tapes, Live in Norwich, only one of those. That's a double LP. The Muffs, new and improved Kim Shattuck demos, two of those. Uh, MXM Tune. Two of those picture discs. Willie Nelson live from the Texas Opry House, double LP. Uh, held up two, but we actually have three of those. Stevie Nicks, Belladonna. So this is a special package of this album. Of course, Stop Dragging My Heart Around, a million other great songs on here. Gatefold, double LP. The first one is the regular Belladonna album, uh, remastered. And then the second one is live, not live, but demos and outtakes and original versions of some songs from the album and stuff that was unreleased. We have 20 of those. I'm moving down one more crate. Nico, actually famously known as Velvet Underground, has two releases. This is live at the Hacienda 83 on purple vinyl, and Nico and the Faction Camera Obscura, one of those on blue vinyl, two of the live one. Night Ranger, first time on vinyl for somewhere in California, one of those. Laura Nero, live in Japan, one of those. Offspring, this is Greatest Hits. It's got a very cool kind of foil cover on blue vinyl. We have 12 of those. That's the Greatest Hits compilation from them. And Tubular Bells 2 from Mike Oldfield. This is in the O's under Oldfield. We have two of those. Opeth, My Arms, Your Hearse on purple and white swirl vinyl. Only two. A lot of these are quite limited here. Here's some ones. Palehead, Trait on red vinyl 1. Peppa Pig, Peppa's Adventure Time. Get your kids into vinyl with that one. There's only one of those. 
Art Pepper and the Rhythm Section did a special video on my picks from last week. If you check the Vinyl Happy Hour, we did my top five picks of Record Store Day. Art Pepper meets the Rhythm Section was definitely on there. This is the Kraft Analog Audiophile recordings from the original Analog Tapes. All Analog Audiophile AAA featuring Art Pepper, Red Garland Piano, Paul Chambers Bass, Philly Joe Jones on drums. Of course, Art Pepper on the alto sax cool jazz piece that is the mono recording we have 11 of those also just really nice heavyweight jackets uh the pharaohs in the basement really cool kind of funk piece only one of those pixies live at coachella is this 04 i believe this is a really great live recording of pixies doing some of their biggest songs ever this is on yellow and orange marbled vinyl with the etching on the d side so very cool pixies release two lp we have uh eight of those this is 2LP, also Colored Vinyl, Iggy Pop, live in Berlin, 1991. Three of those. The Proclaimer, Sunshine of... Sunshine on Leaf, 2LP, Expanded Edition, one of those. Prodigy, not Prodigy the Group, Prodigy the Rapper. We have Return of the Mac, we have three of those. Chuck Prophet, Age of Miracles, two of those here at Record Store Day for Culture Shock. Corinne Bailey Ray, The Sea, another just a really cool, soulful, jazzy R&B piece. Uh, came out about 10 years ago. That's on blue vinyl. Rain Parade, one of those, their 84 release. Oh, I forgot to bring the open one. Okay, so this is the Ramones Sire albums from 81 to 89. So you got all six of those albums in this box set. Nice, sturdy, heavy box set. So boom, 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 all six of their albums from those eras. And then the Ramones special edition and unreleased material and other songs that were on seven inches. A splatter color vinyl of that inside the box set with it. Red Hot Chili Peppers new album on like kind of foil colored uh, jacket and silver vinyl with a poster. Only two of those though. Lou Reed, 1971 RCA demos. We got three of those here. I'm just going to set that up there. Okay. Uh, Memphis in June from Raining Sound. We only got one of those. And the replacements. This is replacements live in Minneapolis, Minnesota, 1981, two LP set. We have six of those. I got it. So very cool replacements piece. One of my favorite bands as well. Six of those. Moving right down to the R's now. Still, no. From the piece to the R's. Rex Orange County. This is the Apricot Princess fifth anniversary. Uh, we could check the record store day list too and see. This might be color vinyl. We have two four six eight nine of those jonathan richmond and the modern lovers on blue vinyl all analog i think that's their 88 album 1988 so we have five of those and last oh no we're still continuing in the hours okay let me pull that r placard out rizzle kick stereotypical one of those rolling stones more hot rocks uh big hits and phased cookies this is a really cool special packaging of their like greatest hits compilation on this foil jacket and it comes on color vinyl with a lithograph poster inside. We have eight of those. Gavin Rossdale, only one of those. First time on vinyl for that release. The Rubinos, their seminal power pop debut album. Uh, I think it might be just self-titled then. Yeah, the Rubinos, only one of those. That's my R placard. Santana put together a special release for Record Store Day as well. Uh, we have, this is Splendiferous. We have six of those available. Sepultura Picture Disc. This is uh, Revolu Songs. Two of those. Shankar Family and Friends. I Am Missing You. Uh, this is uh, also on George Harrison's record label on the Dark Horse Records, which we have the t-shirts and buttons too. One of those, Del Shannon, Rock On, we got one of those. Simple Minds Live, 5x5 five five Live, five songs from their first five albums. This is, uh, it says it was a Record Store Day UK release. Uh, looks like a triple LP on color vinyl, we have two of those. Sleep Token Sundowning, we only got one of those available. Special release of Patti Smith, curated by Record Store Day. Two records of some of her biggest and best songs ever. Uh, going all the way from 74 to 96. So some of the songs are going to be hard to find on vinyl on her regular albums. Very cool compilation there put together. There's a poster also. If you pick this up, ask us for the free poster. We have 10 of those. Actually, there's only a couple of posters. So the first couple, we'll get them. Sam Smith, this is the Nirvana EP. This came out 2013 before he blew up. Originals are crazy expensive. I noticed if you can find them anywhere in the world for sale. Luckily, these are reissued. And luckily, we got 10 of them. 
continuing the S's, Sound, Counting the Days, another band that's kind of cool and new wave-ish, definitely uh, along the lines if you're a fan of The Cure and stuff like that. Um, clear vinyl, double LP, four of those. Speed Glue, first time uh, probably on vinyl in the U.S., multicolored vinyl. Uh, very kind of cool, obscure, kind of psychedelic Japanese group, I believe. Three of those. St. Vincent, this is on yellow vinyl. This is her music to the Nowhere In. Uh, her and her band put together original songs and some sounds to go with this. I think it's a Hulu movie. I can't remember, but we have seven of those. Stiff Little Fingers, BBC Live in Concert, only one. Joss Stone, LP1, another one on purple vinyl that you probably have never seen an original of. Maybe it didn't even get on vinyl. Two of those, Donna Summer picture disc. Uh, Donna Summer's 40th anniversary picture disc. So there's a cool one. Only one of those, though. Super Chunk, Incidental Music, 91 to 95. We got two of those. This is a soundtrack, technically. We're putting it in T for Tangerine Dream, though. This is the original motion picture soundtrack to Strange Behavior, uh, some oddball 80s slasher movie on color vinyl. All the music was uh, composed by Tangerine Dream, though. So we're putting that under Tangerine Dream since it's really one of their kind of lost albums. Also, we got five of those. Jeff Tate, this is Kings and Thieves. We have whew, three of those. Tegan and Sarah, Still Jealous on Red Vinyl. Very special release, though. It's Tegan doing Sarah songs and Sarah doing Tegan songs. We have eight of those. Another cool one with a die-cut jacket. This is Tennis System, Autophobia. We have three of those. Tesseract. Picture disc, also cool. It's got, like, this die-cut jacket. Hopefully you can see that on camera. Picture disc inside of the jacket, though, from them. Polaris, very cool kind of proggy instrumental metal group. Uh, Peter Tosh completed the complete captured live and it is on marble vinyl. We have two of those Pete Townsend of the who Deep end face the face face. Yeah face the face on yellow vinyl double LP We got three of those And ultravox live at the rainbow 77. We have three of those U2 often has some special releases for record store day this year. They do as well celebration a celebration 40th anniversary special release of that we have four of those suzanne vega close-ups and extras we have one of those voivod putting out their very hard to find angel rat album uh special vinyl color vinyl we have three of those howard wales rendezvous with the sun we have one of those this is the first uh from the first rare groove funk and soul reissue label founded in 1990. so this is from love and hate they've done some really cool special releases on that label in the past too we only have one though scott walker compilation of his music from 67 to 70 double lp very interesting story on scott walker the wallow singles collection uh their stuff is very hard to come by on vinyl i believe this is their singles from 2017 to 2020 on blue vinyl we have two four six eight of those uh jesse Ware devotion we have one of those special release wise blood the innocence i believe is a 2013 album uh, first time I've seen that on vinyl in a while. Also on color vinyl, two of those. Very cool 12 inch, the whole darn family. Obscure, kind of rare funk piece. But what's really cool about this single is it was sampled by Jay Z, METHOD Man, Wu Tang, Biggie Smalls. Cool DJ collector's item. Really cool to hear where that original sample came from. We have six of those. Uh, the Wipers, is that it? Yeah, the Wipers then. We have Over the Edge, also very cool packaging, color vinyl. Two of those and why oak if children we have first time on vinyl for that on red and white splatter we have three of those uh, then i'm just going to wrap up here we are at the soundtracks and compilations blue velvet this is a two lp set with notes and interviews by angelo battlemente and david lynch on marble blue vinyl very very weird movie weird soundtrack very cool collector piece Three of the Blue Velvet soundtrack. Soundtracks are under Alphabet by the name of the movie. Compilations are behind it. Breaking. This brought out a lot of breakdancing and stuff like that, like in the early hip hop scene. Very influential movie. There are two of those. Soundtrack from a movie I thought I would never see a soundtrack of in my life. Uh, this is 2LP color vinyl of the movie May. Very interesting movie for sure. There's four of those. The Midnight Society soundtrack, one of those. Oh, I keep forgetting if it's French or Italian. I forgot, I forgot. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go with Italian though, probably. So this is the soundtrack to the movie The Red Queen Kills Seven Times. Uh, I don't have it under the Italian spelling of it, so under R for a Red Queen. 
two of those. Now we're in comps. Uh, <clears throat> Atencio, this is a Brazilian compilation of some Brazilian artists. Shy Sound, this is a Chicago compilation of some Chicago soul and funk. 76, we got two of those. It Happened at the Hop, Do Hoppers and Sock Hoppers compilation. One of those. The Jazz Dispensary doing some super skunk, some really cool jazz and funk. On opaque red vinyl, really cool, hard to see probably, but die cut cover. They always do some cool releases. Only got two of those. Uh, Tierra El Chicano Malo. This is Latin Legends Live, double LP compilation. And Panama Soul Gems, Panama compilation. Portraits of her featuring a lot of music. Uh, it's like a female artist compilation dedicated to the labor and love to all the women in the music industry. Obviously, our Taylor Swift fans are probably going to know about this one. She's got a song on there, Kay Flay, Laura Jane Grace, uh, Girl in Red, Julian Baker. Really cool compilation. Only six of those. That's called Portraits of Her. Classic Rock, Steady and Soul, Soul Power 68 compilation. And the last one is another continuation of the Sun Records compilation, handpicked by uh, record store owners and record store day um, curators. Uh, with Roy Orbison, Sonny Burgess, Johnny Cash, Carl Perkins, really cool Sun Records compilation. They've done that series now for quite a few years. This is the ninth year of them doing that. And this is the 15th year of Record Store Day, the 16th year of Culture Shock. We're so thankful and so amazed at how many of you have supported us, liked our social media, ordered from us online, even if you're not local. It's so cool to see the community come together for Record Store Day. It's like our huge fun party every year. Thankfully, pandemic has died down a little bit so we can do things a little more normal. And we're going to have music, food truck. We're going to have all sorts of other special things here going on in the store. Uh, again, this Saturday, April 23rd at Culture Shock. Clothing and Records at 2239 Charles Street in Rockford, Illinois. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Come join the fun. Get some vinyl. 24 hours later, we can sell anything available to our online audience. So please check cultureshockshop.com beginning 8 a.m. Central Time on Sunday, this Sunday, April 24th. Uh, we'll keep that updated. It automatically updates with what's still available. And we'll ship it right out to you this Monday. So check that website if you aren't local and we'll get some good vinyl. Support your local record stores if you don't live here. Go check them out this Saturday too. Uh, anything else want to add, Lauren? No? Thank okay. you so much for supporting us. Of course, thank you guys so much. And check out our other Vinyl Happy Hour videos and enjoy the Record Store Day rundown videos as they come along too. Peace.